we haven't done a studio tour in like two years. Let's do it. So this view shows you about half of the studio, but I'm going to take you around and show you a little closer up on the different parts of the studio. We also have on the other side of this wall, we have our dye area. So this piece of equipment here is my Miel rotary iron. And I actually just did a video where I spoke pretty in depth and showed about that. It's called how to weave a queen of efficiency. I think is the thumbnail. Anyways, I'll link it in the description if you want to take a look. And over here, this is where we pack up our products and whatnot. We have a nice, counter here we make our boxes here and then we package things up over here you know we just use packing paper to pack with and but the most exciting thing is over here so i've got my ironing board some reference books some yarns and my dream box which yes it is a dream so this is my dream box and it does close up entirely and I'm not going to be able to do that today because of course I have a lot of stuff on here, but it closes up and it all fits inside this box right here. And it looks like an armoire. It's really nice that this part of the table folds in. This part here all folds down to be this size by this size. It's called the dream cart, I believe. I can link all that as well in the description. And I love this thing. It's great. It's got a million spots to store things. I've covered them with some little paint chips just because I think it looks prettier. So we do our sewing here, serging here. I put the serger on the end because we're coming from the looms and we always, always, almost always serge the ends of what we've woven. So we pop over here real quick. And then once we are ready, we've washed and dried, we're ready to sew. We sew here, we have the iron right here. When we need to do some cutting, we have this. It's just a dreamy little setup. It really is a dream box. And I have my office here. I sit here and I do, you know, all the, you know, office-y things I need to do, which for my, in my case, it's mostly creative office-y stuff because my, my partner actually does all the business end. I have a printer here. I just love it. This works really well for me. And I got these really pretty pink chairs that I love. But um, I'm gonna talk about my Janome serger at another time, but this is the, the ultimate serger. So one might say I have an obsession with scissors, but I have scissors here, scissors on the other side, scissors beside the sewing machine. Bucket of scissors here, just in case. Scissors on the ironing board, scissors beside the rotary press. A bucket of scissors here, scissors, I need scissors, scissors. Of course, every loom has a scissor, scissors. Every spot needs scissors. Now here I have my two AVL, I actually have three AVL um, 16 shaft CompuDobby looms. I'm not using the third one at the moment. I'm just using these two for now. Um, these are really great looms. I have them fully tricked out and actually I have a video. My next video I'm going to make is going to be showing you and highlighting all the features. I've added every upgrade available to these looms and they are just the most amazing looms. I, I couldn't ask for more. Well. I could ask for more shafts, but every weaver will always tell you that. But these looms are fantastic. They weave super fast. I can, we can easily weave 10 meters a day, no problem. No physical pain to the body. And you know, it's, it's awesome. It's great. If you have a production studio, you should think about getting something like this. Okay. And this is, this is just an area where we do a lot of prep. So, you know, my loom is there, but here's where we're actually now beaming. I don't know. You can't probably see this on the camera, but we beam here. And so we have our bobbin racks here. We uh, use this Swift here. I think I showed, I definitely showed this in my last video, Queen of Efficiency, top six tools for an efficient weaving studio. And I have an extra beam here. I have a few extra beams. I like to be able to have one ready to go. When, when one warp comes off, I'm ready to go with the next one. I keep my yarns here. I have some pre-measured stuff here. These are weftovers, as I like to call leftover wefts. That just, I do, I, I end up using them quite often, but there they are. Okay, so this is our beaming stand. There would be normally a beam in here and we just beam our warps here. We use the tension box. And then we also, we will move this a little bit and we measure our warps right here as well. I've got videos showing this too, how we wind warps. This is where we sit to wind our perns. And since our wefts are coming off of skeins, I just have a swift here. 
just fantastic love it so we have the swift and we just go straight straight from the swift to the to the perns which i just have a little box full here and i have this fan here because uh we can you know i have a little note here that says use fan because i have burned out a couple motors because i can be a little aggressive with my bobbin or my pern winding you can see the loom you can get a good view here you can see the dream box over there Okay, now we're gonna go around the corner and now we're in the dye studio so as you can see we have a significant amount of dye and you know it's just I just never like running out and I'm I tend to get worried about running out of things so I stock up I don't want to run out of dyes and then back here we have our our panda spinners which I talked about in that other video again that I'm gonna link we talk more in depth about that so we have two sinks here. I uh, picked these up secondhand. They're great. We don't need fancy things here in the studio, but I mean, they're really nice sinks anyways, and they do the job really well. I use these uh, constantly. Down here, I have a bin of soda ash so that I have to pre, you know, if you're, if you do any dye work, you know what that's for. So we do the soda ash soak and I have a vinegar soak here as well. We spin out in these spinners. I have two induction burners here. I find they're a lot faster than the stove top, but the stove, we use it as well. I boil my yarn before we use it. I boil the yarn after it's been dyed. We like to get it really super clean. I have a studio washer and dryer in here. You know, I don't use this for my personal use. This is all just studio. And I think that's about it down here. There's all kinds of crazy things happening in here. I store some dyes that I've pre-mixed here. If I've made too much, I just keep it until I need it next time, unless it gets too old. I love my studio and I'm quite proud of it. And if there's anything you wanna know, shoot me a question.